Before I start, I just want to make one thing clear. There's more to life than just video games, and it just seems like sometimes we take things too seriously when, in the whole scheme of things, they don't really matter that much. You shouldn't get all stressed out and worked up over someone's opinion on a video game. However, it happens a lot, and it's partly due because we have these people out here who know that the easiest way to get clicks is to create drama. They got you out here fighting an imaginary war. Day after day, they stoke the flames, posting content they know is going to piss you off. And there you are, one by one, standing in line, waiting for your turn to get pissed off. When these fanboy channels are making content, that's what they're thinking about. How they can get under your skin. And I just say to you, please don't allow them to do that. Now you're fully aware of what their game plan is and what they intend to do every single day. And now it's up to you to do something different. Don't waste away on the internet feeding that fucking beast. Because it's not worth your time or effort. You'll never get that time back. And one day you're going to wake up, look in the mirror, see a gray hair, and say to yourself, Damn, I wish I didn't waste so much goddamn time arguing about PlayStation vs Xbox. It's just so pathetic. And what's more pathetic is you have these bottom feeder content creators trying to leverage your passion for video games against you so they can make a buck. And so with that said, I'm about to give my opinion on a game that's not even out yet. So that's double the reason why you shouldn't take it all that seriously. It's easy to say go woke, go broke and leave it at that, right? But it's a bit more complicated. We just quickly touched on how these fanboy channels are trying to exploit and manipulate your emotions and your passion so they can make a buck and now just multiply that concept by about a thousand. And that's what you have when it comes to woke video games. These companies are exploiting certain communities. They target people that they know are often emotional, often very passionate about what they believe in have a strong desire to see something change in this world and if you just buy our game you'll contribute directly towards that change this is the psychological con they want you to believe that you're doing the right thing by buying that game and if you don't buy that game that sends a loud message about who you are as a person or if you have the audacity to say something negative about it. These companies have created a landscape where it's becoming increasingly harder to critique them as you would any other game, movie, or whatever. Hey buddy, be careful what you say. Choose your words wisely or you might end up looking like a big fat racist or a giant homophobe. You guys know the drill. You know the game. But unfortunately, there's a large amount of people that aren't aware. And these people will attack anybody that has something negative to say about a certain game or movie. Not because they're an asshole, but because deep down, in their heart, they believe they're doing the right thing. And in my opinion, that's the biggest problem. These companies should be the absolute last thing that should be in charge over what's right and what's wrong. Obviously, these companies want to know every single last detail about you so they can exploit it. Next time you speak to one of these game developers, ask them, do they believe that just slapping purple hair on a character is good enough to make them gay? That they don't have to actually flesh them out and put time and effort into giving them our heart and soul like they do with all the other characters? just slap some pink or purple hair on them and call it a day. Do you know why Bioware often has very good, interesting LGBT characters? Because someone there that's important does give a shit. They walk the walk. The most important thing to a gamer, no matter what preference they have or what nationality or religion they are, they want most of all to play a good game, to have a good time. They're no different than anyone else in that regard. Yet, they're treated differently. And so when I see a game like Saints Row Reboot, I classify it 
as one of those types of games and them publicly patting Anita Sarkeesian on the back is an attempt to shoot that signal flare to all of the above. They want you to rally around and support them for every other reason except for a good video game because as far as I'm concerned based on what I have seen thus far sure the game is not out yet that's fair however they have shown us a couple of examples when it comes to mission design and that speaks volumes as far as I'm concerned how many times are you going to drive a truck filled with nuclear waste to the same dump over and over again until it gets old how many times five six I don't know I guess that depends on your patience as far as I'm concerned I feel like these developers should have spent more time innovating than virtual signaling I mean put some actual effort into making the franchise feel like it's actually next generation stuff rather than 2012 called they want their graphics and gameplay back that's how I feel about Saints Row, that these developers spent more time pandering, trying to appeal to certain people, tug on their heartstrings, and whisper into their ear, we care, we care about you and your struggles. Come by our game, you'll be doing the right thing, you'll be doing your part into making a change. <laughs> it's one of the nastiest con games I have seen in this industry and there's been a lot of grimy shit including of course trying to get into our minds and figure out what triggers certain receptors in order to make us spend more money someone I talked to uh, said the other day that they're giving up on games they're just not into them as much anymore and I feel the same exact way I'm so sick of seeing them exploit us at every single turn and then turn us against each other if it helps their bottom line. People, please don't fall for it. Please tell them actions speak louder than words if they truly care. Make some donations, make it public, do some work in the community, do something other than just slapping some pink or purple fucking hair on a character and giving them a personality of a rock.